Hey, congratulations, you made it. This is video number one, one of 10 videos on how to use relational marketing to grow your business. And like I mentioned before, this video series is an excerpt from my system, my highly coveted system, the M90X, which is the Millionaire Marketing Mentorship that is basically teaching you how you can revolutionize your marketing in 90 days or less with my special blueprint on uh, the steps that you need to create or need to do and follow to create a brand that is visible, influential, and profitable, okay? So, why M90X? Because I will give you, right in this 10 videos, the 10 M's of millionaire marketing um, um, mentors or millionaire marketing makers, okay? So the first one is called the first M is, is that a relational marketing needs to be a what? Marketer. A marketer. Okay? Because, let's face it, marketers have the misconception, or I should say relational marketers have the misconception that it's just all about relationships. Well, I actually agree, but I also disagree. Relationships come first when you provide value, and it's the it's basically the 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 number one concept of, from this book by one of my favorite authors, Harvey McKay, in his book called "Dig a Well Before You're Thirsty." Okay, it's pretty powerful. It's basically uh, being able to to connect with people first, being able to provide value first, and I know value is something that is pretty much overrated these days. You know, how do you actually give value? Well, it depends on what you're passionate. It depends about. It depends on how, um, how you want to give value. For me personally, I love to be able to encourage, uh, inspire other entrepreneurs that they have a purpose, that have they have a calling in the marketplace, that they have what it takes to succeed, and that when they're down and when they're doubtful and when they're feeling spent or where they're feeling uh, um, not so inspired, then I blog about it, I post it on social media, I, I send loving messages out there to keep on get, keeping them inspired and motivated and moving forward. That's the way I give value. I also give value by sharing other people's blog posts, by celebrating those who have implemented some of my teachings and then in turn I share what they teach now to those who embrace me as well. So that's how I give value. Now, how can you give value? What is it that you are so passionate about that you can give value to those who are waiting for you to communicate with them? If you're a gardener and you have some special tricks and techniques on how um, you, they can find more uh, the, be the best seeds or the best plants, that's a value. If uh, you're a social media expert and you are on the cutting edge all the time of uh, and you know the the tricks and strategies that you know will help a great number of people that you whom you're attracting into yourself then you share about those cutting edge tools there's so many ways to give value but there's also vehicles on how to give that value so when you're giving value you become more relational more than transactional What's the difference? Relational is people connect with you because they know you don't have any expectation, immediate expectation from them. That your number one intention is to really give them something that will enable them to move forward without you, without them really investing monetarily in you. After all, when they listen to you like you're listening to me, you are investing your time with me. So I really value that. So transactional is when you're just looking for the mighty buck right away. You're looking to sell them immediately without really finding out whether what you have to offer is in line or in sync with what they need. Okay, perhaps you're a masterful uh, copywriter or a gifted persuader that you're able to sell people with what you have. Well, there's a place for persuasion in being a marketer. However, as a relational marketer, you really have the interest of the other person first. And that's why I am here giving you what I feel is valuable for you. So, number one is being relational versus transactional. And number two is really becoming what I, what I call a trusted advisor. Uh, it is my hope that as I continue to give you value, as I continue to engage with you, um, that I will become a trusted advisor. 
for you, that eventually you'll become uh, comfortable with me, that eventually I will earn your trust because trust is earned and it takes time for trust. But as, as you see my consistency, as you see that I post the same things, as the, and as you see the transparency in my authenticity, that I will be able to gain your trust. That's a relational marketer. And of course, accountability. A relational marketer is accountable. You don't say things that you're, you say you're going to do and don't do it because people are watching whether you, you like it or not. There will be silent people, you know, the silent watchers, I call them, people who are watching you from the sidelines and see what you're going to be doing. And yes, some of them are cheering you on or some of them are waiting for you to make a mistake. But nevertheless, that's a part of being a relational marketer, okay? And of course, relational marketing is being able to create a brand that is visible, influential, and profitable. Visible because you're able to utilize the tools that are available out there. Influential is because you know um, the strategies that I will teach you, how you can attract your mentors that you only used to admire from a distance and profitable, needless to say, when somebody, when people or your target audience know, like, and trust you, a sale or a purchase comes after. It's not the immediate goal, but it, it, it's the byproduct of being able to be known, liked, and trusted. Okay, so basically that is video number one. Become a relational marketer. That's the first M. Become a relational marketer. And becoming a relational marketer means that you do have something to offer, whether it's a system, a product, or a service. You need to be able to know what that is because relationships alone, being out there in social media and just connecting with people, for years on without having an offering is also not a very good strategy as well. Trust me, because that's what I've done for, I think, over a year. I was just there marketing and um, connecting, so to speak, without really having any product or service that I offer. And what happened is people connect with me, and then they want more of me, but I have nothing else to offer. And so I lose them to other people or other um, leaders or marketers who have a uh, simple product that they can embrace. So being a marketer means that you are marketing yourself, but you're also marketing a product, very subtly marketing a product after trust is earned. Okay, so that is the essence of relational marketing. So I hope you found something valuable with this video. We're going to move on to video number two, which is a, a, a marketer is a motivator. It's a motivator. I'll see you in the next video.